had our fifth place since we had been married and we were still renting and kind of just pouring our money out into a rental and it was really important for us to put that money somewhere where we would gain something from it I guess. So when we saw the idea of tiny houses online we thought it was so cool to be able to live out of something so small. We looked online, we loved the idea of it, we saw a lot of people starting to build some and we found some plans that we really liked so we just decided this is what we're gonna do we bought the plans we got some friends to help out and we, we built the house The, the big rough stuff was two months, two months and a half. Then we moved in and we finished the rest while we were living in it. We had a different layout. Here we had a wall and it was closed up. It was all a, a storage space and we didn't like it. It was harder to heat on the other side so we opened it all up and now it's a whole kitchen. We started off by approaching a couple of friends that owned property and that had a vacant lot we could have built our house on. And they were super excited, they were really supportive. And they said, yeah, for sure, like, come on over, we'll, we'll figure something out, you guys can park the tiny house there. And we lived in it for three years, or just shy of three years. Because yeah. we were so remotely placed, we had to figure how we get electricity, how we get water, um, internet access. Yeah. So we had satellite internet, we got um, a solar panel kit, so we had the inverter, everything else. We used propane for the hot water and the cooking stove. So we have 200 pound tanks for, for that. Yeah. They usually last us about six months. Yeah. Six to eight months. For heating, we had the wood stove. Um, we actually only went through four cords of wood per winter, which yeah. is really not a lot. <laughs> basically, we were completely off-grid. Yeah. We basically only had to pay for the wood, which most of the time we would get free from his uncle. Because we used to cut it ourselves. Yeah. And um, the propane and a bit of gas for the generator on the grayer days. Some days we had to turn it on just to recharge the batteries, yeah. but most of the time the solar panels were good enough for yeah. everything we had. Because we were off-grid, we didn't have like access to a septic or anything like that, so we installed a composting toilet, which worked perfectly for us. Yeah. We collected rainwater from the roof and it would go into barrels on the side of the house and we would pump that into the heated trailer that we have beside the tiny house. Um, and we heated that during the winter just to make sure that the water wouldn't freeze. And then from there we would be able to use it inside the house. Each barrel has a filter on it so the gunk and stuff would just stay out. What we would do just to make sure that the water would stay a little extra clean, we had read online that you can add just like one or two... Um, tablespoons? I yeah, I guess, yeah. tablespoons of uh, bleach just to keep the water from creating bacteria. So we would only do that every time we would pump the barrels, the rainwater, like the yeah. rainwater, into the big holding tank. So it didn't smell like chlorine or anything like that, but it was nice it and was, clean. Yeah. Yeah, living in here was it was the best. Yeah, it was cozy. We we love small spaces, so just coming home to it and having just this nice cozy place to stay and cozy place to stay upstairs and just warm up during the winter. Mm -hmm. We loved like our driveway was high up on a hill, so we loved coming up and seeing all the snow and the the chimney going up and the the Christmas lights when it was Christmas. It was just a really nice place to drive yeah. up to him. It had a lot of it has a lot of character. I mean like yeah. even when it's not like fully decorated or anything like that, you can just look around and see that it has charm, which is part of what we wanted yeah. for it to be homey. And I mean the fact that we didn't have much but we had the essential, I think that was a big yeah a big bonus too. She likes to entertain so mm -hmm. that was one of the problems we It wasn't too bad. I mean yeah. you get used to it. It's just, it's sometimes it's nice during holidays to be able to have people at your place or like if you want to host a meal, it's a, it's a little difficult. Um, we also did have a few challenges with water, especially mm. the first winter. That was kind of rough. Like we had almost a week where we had no water because um, the 
pipe between the heated trailer and the house froze. Um, it wasn't well insulated and it was the first winter, right? So we didn't really know what to expect, but we got through it. He put a heated wire around it and insulated it back up and then it was fine. The reason we're selling after three years, um, we, for the three years we lived in it, we saved money, we tried looking for some land, and around here it's pretty expensive to get some acreage. And also with the banks you have to add, you have to have a 35% down. So anything we wanted that was bigger than 10 acres, we can buy anytime soon. So we decided to get a house, then we could get some acreage with the house and it got easier from there to get some land. Before choosing to buy a house, we did go over it over and over and over again because we loved living in the tiny house and we loved the lifestyle that it provides. So for us, it was kind of, at first it was a step back to buy a house because we already had a home, we already had everything we needed. All that was missing was the property. Um, but like he said, once we realized that it would take us such a long time to actually get a place to put it on, um, we decided to go with a home that was affordable with property that could be ours. So I think it's it was a good decision. It's just it's a difficult one to, yeah. to come to terms with, I think. For sure. It's mostly about the land. Like we'd like yeah. a lot of acreage to be able to enjoy it. If we could get some land, I think we'd consider buying another tiny house or building another one. <laughs>